we managed to acquire for free most of the wood you see in here. <laughs> These big planks are old Victorian floorboards that came out of a bed and breakfast. Really thick, really, really good wood. Some are older than others, obviously. But yeah, we got that for free. They were even hiring a van. So they even delivered it for free. Amazing. Got some new chicken perches in mind and a few other things. Taking advantage of the beautiful weather and getting the new guttering put up. We'd replaced, well, repaired a load of it. And then we had that uh, hurricane weather, not, not officially a hurricane, but hurricane speed winds. And it basically blew it all down again. So Ash is out to go and buy a load of new stuff. He's taken a few days off work so we can get it done. The front of this barn's already been done. I'm just trying to get the back done. Be really nice. That there stops getting water going in that. Because that ventilation hole is really annoying when it rains. The other side of it, you've got the path, and it's just where you turn in the cattle court. So you're going around the corner <laughs> and uh, you end up slipping. So hopefully this will work. My fingers. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <sighs> Wonder where Asher was. He's up behind the big five bay barn, playing around with his tractor, clearing a load of brush. Yay, we can get behind the big barn now. That's good. What if the goats eat this? Give it a go. We um, had to pull off doing the glass greenhouse this week because if I move my hand it's a little bit windy <laughs> there's there's my silver fix I'm actually hoping you can see this because I can't actually see anything on the screen <laughs> because it may be very windy but it's also very bright so we were going to put the glass in but then we thought we'd rather wait it's so windy at the moment and we're meant to get up to over 80, 80 mile an hour and at the moment it's only about, I don't know, 55, 60. It's so, so windy. <laughs> I've literally just seen chickens in the air getting flown, flown around, flung around by the wind and even the geese couldn't walk in a straight line. Oh. Hopefully all the chickens will come in and I might leave them in tomorrow and the day after because this is meant to get worse than it is now. It's a wee bit breezy up here in Scotland. It's a terrible accent, isn't it? That was in the sheltered bit. I'm still in the semi-sheltered bit. turkeys think they're sheltering in a barn got very high winds and rain and they think this is sheltering in a barn as you can see they're only half in the barn could they come in the rest of the barn yes and all the way down there would stop them getting wet and windy silly birds just looking out of a bedroom window. The ponies are there. The end of the garden. Because, you know, they want us to know that 
they're out in the storm and it's windy and they're wet you know what there's a barn open all they have to do is walk around the side there and a little bit further that way and they'll be in the barn no they'd rather stand here and try and get us to feel sorry for them silly horses we're in feeding the ponies as we feed them early today because of the weather we have chickens helping we have to put some of their food on the floor or the chickens eat all and I have to sit here and fend the chickens off the food because Enya has a very special food that they really like <laughs> Oh, Colin! <laughs> yes, Brian. The wind coming through the slats is oh, it's really bad. It's not as bad as outside. Oh, you get blown around a bit, Brian. Somebody asked me about dealing with um, death of your animals and I don't know, sometimes I think, sometimes I probably look a bit too um, matter of fact about some of it and when I do that it's not that it doesn't hurt, it's not that I don't care. It's how I deal with things and um, it hurts so much when you lose a pet and not every one of my sheep has a name and a lot of them don't get touched from you know one week to the next, we just check them in the field and that's that but it still upsets me when one of the animals dies. Um, it doesn't get easier, you get used to it. That's, I think, the way to put it. It's not easy. It's not easier. It doesn't get easier. Uh, I suppose the horses you have more, or tend to have more interaction with than the farm animals in some ways. A bit more personable. Uh, cats and the dogs, they're in your house. The guinea pigs, the rabbits, they're, they're in the house. That hits harder than a sheep, perhaps. But, um, yeah, Asher and I were talking about it yesterday. And it doesn't get easier at all. You just get used to it. It's just one of those things. And you have to get used to it. As uh, Trish would say at Willow Creek Homestead, you have to be farm tough. You have to just deal with it and carry on. <laughs> 